So guys, I am back with another First Descendant video and today guys, I want to showcase to you an incredible weapon I'm certain the majority of the player base already know about but for those that don't, it's a weapon that's helped me an absolute ton progressing through that normal mode, taking out those void bosses I mean guys, it is utterly unreal the weapon we're going to talk about and check out is nothing other than the tamer we're going to compare it with an equal level well actually an overcharge plus one on the cage i'm going to show you the difference between the two utterly unbelievable guys this is the weapon you definitely want to be getting it's going to help you progress more than any other weapon i've come across let's get into it how's it going guys my name is dpg and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe okay so i should start a video on this about three or four days back now but because i was just too busy progressing the game progressing the story enjoying what i was playing taking my time i'm not gonna lie this ain't the kind of game i like to rush through that's why i'm basically just getting to hard mode now but this is a weapon i did come across i wouldn't say it's a mid-game weapon you come across i'll show you where you get this from in a quick second but it's a weapon i diverted back to to help me defeat the latest void boss of not long beat actually i've beat a couple more since him but hey it was a weapon i went to that helped me destroy the pyro boss and i mean it's utterly unbelievable so the weapon itself guys is nothing other than the tamer this is a machine gun now its dps as standard at level 65 is quite astronomical when you compare it to a thunder cage yes it's a smg this this is a machine gun it should be hitting harder i guess but in regards to its fire rate there's not much difference the dps is almost double now what i will say is these are actually true stats i mean the dps here on the thunder cage once you check it out with its mods um it's 49,000 with the two mods i've put on it which are weak point sight leveled up and we have the rifling reinforcement leveled up its dps is 49,217 same mods though applied to the tamer exactly the same too 86,438 and with the fire rate being almost identical it just it just it's just it's bizarre to me that this weapon is still in the game and it has yet to be nerfed i mean i'm not sure next and roll like that i don't think they will nerf it but if there's a weapon that's going to be nerfed guys it's it will be this one i'll show you the difference in damage that these two can do it's just it's terrifying i mean like i said i saw the videos i thought yeah obviously people just over exaggerating in regards to the damage output this thing can do but they ain't guys they really ain't so i'm gonna equal level these let's put them at level 50 it doesn't really matter does it uh change the level make sure they are invincible so i can show you the damage we'll spawn them in and we'll see them so they don't only put one actually don't really matter does it so you can see the slay here so using the thunder cage headshot Oh, critical shot straight away, 14,000. Headshot, 7,300. Critical shot, 14,500. Nice. 14,700, sorry. Nice. Now, if we put on this, a normal headshot <laughs> is almost a critical shot of what we're getting on the Thunder Cage. That is utterly unbelievable. I can't imagine what a critical shot will be like on this. It's going to be like almost pushing 20k, maybe. 19,311 and these it's, it's just got a bigger magazine size much bigger magazine size use the same ammo type it's an utterly monstrosity of a weapon and again these are being compared with the same i'm using the same mods on both weapons i mean hey i've also by the way i've overcharged this weapon as well as you can see that's an overcharge plus one which makes it even better yet it still falls in comparison with this rare 10 machine gun you can get a relatively early game so where do you get this so so people let's actually come out of this oh, there we go so the first place you'll come across this i believe is agna desert now i've looked around the other areas you do unlock beforehand and i can't seem to find i think it's agna desert's the first time you come across this and if you go to i believe guys it's remnant and i believe it may be this mission right here the abandoned reconstruction site you have a 50 percent chance of getting this weapon from this mission it estimated play time is about 15 minutes or less that's just estimated i mean you can run it way way quicker than this 
Uh, but if you have not got this tamer yet, make sure you go and get this weapon. If you're struggling to do any activity in this game, whether it's a void boss, whether it's just playing the game, get this weapon. You will feel over leveled. Now, in regards to me running around as my level 40 bunny with my 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 um equipment is around level 65 to 75 at the minute the enemies are on scale this absolutely obliterates said enemies it really does now there's another place you can get this from and it's a uh, white knight gulch uh, i cannot remember exactly where it is here but if i see it, i'll probably remember it may be up top but i've definitely seen it on this um could be up here where are we? Where are we? I know I've seen you up here. I know I've seen you up here somewhere. But it does drop on this planet too. But again, the earlier one to actually go to. I'm sure. I'm just saying I saw it. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so the observatory, uh, orders, occupied facility. This is another mission. Takes five minutes or less. Equal drop rate of 50% acquisition chance. So yes, do keep that in mind, guys. If you If you're struggling to get it from... Uh, Agna Desert, you can always try White Knight Gorge if you have this unlock, but I believe this is the one you unlock first in regards to these two. So Agna Desert, again, it's remnant area right here. And it's this mission right here, guys. And again, it's 100% worth your time in getting. Now, like I said, I diverted back to this weapon because, in fact, guys, all my other shits is six, uh, 75 plus. This is a level 65 and it obliterates everything. I haven't bothered leveling it up yet because I may as well wait until I push on and get bigger and better drops. I'm not really into wasting materials in games like this, especially when weapons like this are an offer for you to use where it makes the game a walk in a park. Yes, in regards to your defense and your shield and all that stuff, this won't help you, but in regards to getting that enemy down, this will definitely help you will 100% help you. And remember guys, with the modules here, depending on who you're fighting, what you're, you're coming up against, you need to be using different things. Now, I only put these two on here because I just wanted to do a comparison between the Thunder Cage and the Tamer. Now, in regards to other modules you can use, you can use so many others, guys, to increase the weak point, to increase the, um, the firearm attack. There's many, many, many things you can do. So yeah, guys, it's all up to you what you'll be doing, but hey, make sure you be getting this weapon make sure you be trying it out it is an otter animal guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more of the first descendant be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one